good morning everybody it's Denise here Denise Junk Journals UK um, I hope you're well and thank you so much for joining me um, it's a bit of a breezy breezy but bright day here in the in Lincolnshire in the UK today so I hope you're having uh, nice weather where you are so this will be a reasonably quick video because it shouldn't be the first one that you see today in theory um, because this is my, my challenge, my Tati Treasure and Friends Facebook group challenge. So um, there will be another video up with whatever I'm making at the time. I don't know. So the challenge started on the 1st of October. I'm filming this on the 3rd. So I have already made, I've got a basket ready. I've already made Tanya's and most of Denise's, not quite all of them. Um, that was the first and the second. And um, is it Dana today or Amber? Anyway, in my description there will be a link to um, the very first video which is the one that Tanya is putting up and she will have everybody listed with the dates that they're doing it you know if you're interested to uh, to go to their channels and, and see what they're up to um, I think they'll all be on Facebook as well on the, on the group pinned on the group so um, so yeah I think I'm day five so there'll be a couple more before me but I'm filming it on day three so um, so it um, you should by now, I think, know all about the challenge, but basically it's a hashtag use of a whole book challenge. Um, we've chosen a Reader's Digest book to use because they've got about, well, minimum usually 500 pages. Some have got six and more. And then um, we're trying to do it every day for the month of October. So that's going to be a lot of pages by the end of the month. So each of the YouTubers that are doing a day each are using 16 pages. Um, so I've got 16 here that I've pulled out, trimmed off, and half of them, which are at the back, I've gone round with ink, which is, I'm going for the black soot today. Um, I might want to use some of these in my um, Midnight Meadows um, kit, which is Tanya and Nanine's new kit. I will be doing soon. So I'm going to do them in the black soot so that they'll fit in with that, hopefully. <coughs> Have I got anything else to tell you? I don't think so. So it's a matter of making, I think initially it was pockets, but, um, you know, basically using up the whole book for ephemera. So I, mine are all pockets that I'm doing. Some people have done tags and things like that, but um, yeah, there's a, already, we're only on day three and I've already seen a couple of things that are new to me. So it's going to be a, a, a fun, a fun month looking at, you know, things people are creating. So I, because when I put uh, things in my, my journals, I often do. Um, front and back e even I, I like two not the same but similar so I'm going to build two of everything I make if that makes sense <laughs> so you know the first pocket I'm going to make is um, it's a triple pocket or it could be a quadruple pocket and it uses three pages and I'm going to make two of them so that'll be six of my 16 pages gone to start with so I did have a little play and make one beforehand so let's see if I can remember what I did um, I'll start with an inked one I think yeah. <coughs> right so one whole page for the back and the page in front I just folded down I did it forward but I think I might do this one backwards I think it might be better just to see all the text um, just mostly the blank let me get a glue page out oops come on it's in a pile it doesn't want to come out Oh, we've got the silly glue uh, joke book again. Let's move it over there. Um, got what I was saying now. Nope, it's gone. Probably wasn't anything very interesting. <laughs> yeah, so glue that one down. I what I will do with mine, with the majority of them, where I can, is stitch round. Okay, so. I won't do that now on camera, I'll do it afterwards because um, they may be embellished first as well. Um, but I'm not going to go crazy with the glue because, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to sew on top of it. So I just need it to hold in place. Now, parts of it I won't be able to sew, you know, things that go across and, and up the middle, probably not. So some of it I will glue better than others. What I need to do is to remember to um, ink the middles. You know, when I have something that's going in the middle like that, I nearly didn't. Yeah, where it's, it's not impossible, but you know, tricky to get to once it's glued. 
certainly easier before it's glued anyway. So I've got a, a gooey cloth. Yep, so that's made two pockets for me because I, I, well I can or I might put it on the page so that something can go behind it and something can go in there. And when that's curd over bits dry, I want to take a little divot out of there as well. I think I'll be able to do that afterwards. Okay, what did I do next? Next I wanted a square piece. Um, so I just folded it corner, corner over like that, which within a, a, a fraction of a centimeter will give you a, <laughs> a square. Of course it depends how well you, you cut across as well, but roughly a square anyway. I want that, what I want is that triangle. And so I'm going to put a triangle pocket on. And I'm going to put it at the top past that one, I think, because I want a bit of space at the bottom. So I'm just going to glue the whole thing closed just so it's a bit stronger. <coughs> Excuse me, still got a croaky voice. That's it. And then ink. So this is going to be like the, you know, the slanting pocket or the corner pocket. Oops, on the on the front. Yeah, I think I'll go right up there. Can't remember if I did or not on the practice one, but I'm going to because I want a bit of room down here. So, which is going to be the across bit? That one. So that needs plenty of glue because I'm not I'm not going to be able to. So across there, the down one will get caught in the stitching when I stitch around the outside. You know, round here, that will get caught. This one won't. Maybe I should have inked across the bottom there so it stood out. Too late now. And then this one that's left, I'm going to fold in half. That way, I think, no. I don't think it matters because I want I want the writing the right way up. So if I fold it in half, one side will be and one side won't be. <laughs> and again, I'm just going to glue it down to give it a bit of strength um, as a pocket. And that will just be a straight small pocket or tuck, whichever you prefer to call it, across the bottom. Mm, not glued down. I'm doing it a little bit quicker perhaps than I should, but yeah, and we definitely need to ink across there because we need to see that it's doesn't show really, does it, even with that line <laughs> that it's different. I suppose you could do a fancy edge on there or even um a divot in there. But um, I think it'd be easier if I do it on here. Again, this will get caught in with the stitching. Oops, that's gone up a bit high, Denise. Yep, so I'm going to make another one so that I've got them all made. Um, I don't think it was complicated. Tanya did one, or she didn't want anything too origami based because <laughs> she couldn't couldn't uh, cope with following it um, just I mean there's so many isn't there so we'll have one inked and one not that's it did I use three or did I just use two one oh yeah I used three that's right that one's got one just need, I can't see it because it hasn't got a divot in shall I try it and risk no I'll give it a few minutes okay so the top one I folded backwards and this is where you can change the size of everything you know if you want a smaller pocket or a bigger pocket fold it over more or trim it down I think if you fold over where you can it just gives you a little bit of extra um, rigidity oh that's a good word isn't there for this fine morning I didn't ink that one did I or did I did I remember last minute Yep, I think it's quite a new ink pad this one. If you remember I got it in my uh, charity shop haul and yeah it's very keen <laughs> and I'm a bit messy with it. 
yeah that one on there making the first one and again this is going to be caught in this oops in the stitching I probably could just put some blobs down I've seen people do that when they're going to stitch it it's a good idea that actually stops me wobbling off doesn't it hmm. oops yeah I suppose the trick then is to get this down quick in the right place went a bit high with that one <laughs> there we go I'm sure this isn't a new pocket um, it's just I haven't done it for a well I'm sure I must have done them because I've done most of the pockets fo uh, following people um, I just haven't done it for a long time okay so my third piece that's it square let's have a non-inked piece so I want to square out of the third piece can't see if I got my head in the camera sorry <laughs> sorry if I have and again you could fold the edges up on this triangular piece if you wanted it you know particularly strong make it smaller to fit on here completely up to you get rid of that blue page yeah so the one thing about using a oops three pages for a a big pocket is that it's you know it's using the pages up because I've got glue on there I've got a wet one yes I'll just get it off my fingers that's it now I'll use the dry one to get it off here don't know how I did that um oh shall I go the opposite way on that's mm, I didn't even know I'd done that oh, that's what you call a happy accident <laughs> um yes a lot of pages to use up isn't there so if you if you're making nice big full-on pockets that use a few of the pages that's good i mean these two sets of pockets here have used six pages lovely um so this one wants plenty on because it's not going to be stitched this one can just have dots because it is going to be okay I'll go right up into that corner again. Lovely. I think they'll stand out more when they're, um, you know, decorated. I'm sure they will. So, yeah, fold this one down. Let's fold it first. Now you don't have to put this on it. You could make a little belly band across it. You could put um you could put a tuck on that way on top couldn't you that would be nice yeah that would be nice actually oops but i'll make these two the same because like i said i do like things in pairs and uh, yeah leave something for no <laughs> they nearly did got it on my mind now leave some something for people who come after us to do different because it's going to get more difficult isn't it the further through and I'm having another go <laughs> I'm doing another day later on in in October so so if nobody's done it by then I might do do that this one needs, oh no it's all going to be oh no it's not yes it is it's all going to be stitched around I do love to argue with myself don't I <laughs> Oh, no change there because I like to argue with Neil as well. <laughs> right, let's see if I can take the divot out of this one just so you get a look at what it really will look like. An idea, I should say. I think I can get it in yet. Whether I'm central or not is another matter, but... Let's ink it round so you can see. Yeah, if you've turned that over and let it dry and inked it before you built it, it might be, might be better. So I've got, put it down on the page and put something behind it, couldn't you? I've got a big pocket there, a corner pocket there, and a small tuck pocket there. Yeah, like those. Definitely going to be using those again. Okay, and then I had one I think that used, oh, did this one use three as well? I think it probably did. Um... 
Oh, I've got an inked one. No, let's use an inked one. No, let's use a non-inked one. Try and think what I did. Um, just don't know if I bent any of the edges over. I think I probably did. Because I do like a nice strong. Let's bend that over. I like a nice strong edge when I can get it, me being the clumsy. No, no, not clumsy, what's the word? I'm quite brutal with things. <laughs> Oops, nearly used a nearly used a wet wet wipe. Um and then that's it. It's coming back to me now. Fold it down the middle. And then I think what I'll do is ink that middle so I can see it. Yeah, that's the thing with folding it over, is it? It wrinkles the page a bit. It's not not playing ball. I might have it going this way actually. Um, black. Oh, I don't know. I'll do both, <laughs> and then I'll decide which. Oops, which way I'm going to have it going. I'll do it this way. So fold one in and over. That's it. Just stick a bit of glue on it. Hold it down. And then that's going to become a pocket folded over there. So I need to ink that piece. is only a part of the pocket. You probably gathered that scene as I said. <laughs> I was using three pieces again. So there's one. Now I want to make one oops, the other way. So fold that over. I keep wanting to glue on my book page instead of my glue book. side. Maybe if I gave the glue time to to dry I wouldn't have that issue. Okay and then I'm going to fold the left side over this time instead of the right. Inking down there is just showing me where where the centre is so I don't I don't go too close to it. I'm about half a millimetre aren't I, away. So it will fold that way. So I've got two opposite corner pockets, which of course you can just use like that. I'm sure somebody's done them already. Pretty sure they have. Oh, I glue this one down. I've got to do another one of these, haven't I? I should maybe make four in one go. <laughs> and then fold that one. Glue that one, fold it and glue it. That's it. I'm going to trim them down a little bit in a minute, so we'll let that glue. And then all I'm going to do is put them inside another page so they're like pockets in a booklet. So let's do the same and ink down there. This one. Yeah, I have inked it on one side, so that just saved a little bit. wind really is howling out here. I've got a few clothes on the line but I've got uh, quite a bit in my wash basket. I think it might be an afternoon to get it bottomed. All right, so I'm just going to trim a teeny tiny bit off the bottom there and make it nice and neat. I mean a teeny tiny. Just neatened it, nothing more. And then I'm going to go to 
yeah, nine centimeters. Whoops. Same on this one, just a smidge off the bottom. That is the bottom, isn't it? Yeah. And then, yes, Denise, cut the right edge off. <laughs> nine. Is that right? Oops. And I'm just going to stick it in there. Um, U shaped. And I'm just thinking that I probably wanted to cut a divot out of there. Oh no, yeah. I will before I stick it down. Can't see anything that way up except for my own face. Oh, it came out okay. Quick, the nature glue is going to be dry. So the nice thing about this is I can use the lines on the book page to try and get that straight. You can probably hear the dustman. Mm. It's a garden rubbish day. You can go back in and glue bits down that, that didn't get caught. Some, uh, some book pages, older ones, do drink up the glue, especially the art glitter. Forgot about that bit, trimmed it off and forgot to re-glue it. I might as well do it while it's down, I don't know. Oh, squeal. And that one about there, yep. Yeah, so getting them level is a, oh no, is a good thing to do. I should have maybe put those two together to cut that out as well. I'm learning as I go. <laughs> I'll make the mistakes. Yes, yeah, so if I'd put both those together, I'd have had it, them in exactly the same spot. I don't think they're too far out, actually, which is lucky. I will be covering a lot of these book pages up. I do like the book pages, but um, some of these Reader's Digest stories are... There's nothing wrong with them particularly, but some of them are a bit dramatic or... <laughs> yeah, they're not nice, calm, gentle words and stories that we like in our journals. I like that one as well. Pleased with that. So we've got a pocket there and a pocket there, and the same on the other side. Pocket here and a pocket here. Okay. Of course, you could put a pocket on the front, pocket on the back make another one then see if I can do the second one quicker am I getting down to our linked now I think I am oh how many pages do you want Denise so the first one stays put the second one just fold that back if I use this for speed I think I will so I'm having to go back in with it afterwards as well doesn't it Oops. put it on the table now that's it. Ink the top. Where did we go? It's quite high that one, isn't it? Do some dots down. Whoops. On the edge, Denise. Like I say, I would do a full line if I wasn't going to stitch these round but I am it's a nice black thread will be really effective on them Ooh, sounds like it's raining a little bit nothing major oh do you know what I'm doing I'm making the first one again <laughs> right I've got some spare book pages here in case I did that what are we doing should have left it out to remind me shouldn't I this one <laughs> You were telling me, weren't you? I heard you. Got that first one into my head now, you see. That's it. Let's do them both together. Oops. I certainly will use a book, full book up at that rate, won't I? <laughs> Go. That's it. It's going to 
fold them in half. This is a bit it doesn't like to do when it's wet. We'll see if it's better with the art glitter than it was with the wet glue. Mm -hmm. So so. I know art glitter is a wet glue, but it's not as don't wet the page quite as much as the. Um, no, it's still doing the same thing. That's the glue stick. Nope. Two going at once now. We're mass making. <laughs> Oops. Okay, so fold this one. Down here. And we'll put some of this on this one. very gloopy it's gonna get caught in there anyway isn't it that's it ink down there and stick and then across there the wrong side on I didn't it's there right don't ask me what I did there sent it all flying <laughs> told you I was rough okay and then this one the other way so this way is that right yeah put it down do a bit of this on the edges Save me going back in. one this morning isn't it I'm sure I'll be chatty later on I've oh, got you and then full page folded in the middle and inking it so we can see the centre that's it let's see if we can take the divots out again Oh, <laughs> that made me blink. Now you can put them that way, back to back, because I did this one front to front look. I think I will, just to ring the changes. Or you can put them opposites like that. Yeah, I think I'll do one slightly different. I mean, these are good bases to add more and more and more pockets to when you actually need to trim them down. And you need to actually use them. Right, we went to nine, didn't we? Yep. And that bottom looks fairly straight. Um. <laughs> yeah, get your brain in gear. We're trimming here, that's it. <laughs> nine. Oh, that's why I had to re-glue because I trimmed them. I knew I had to re-glue the ends for some reason. Okay, which way are we going? Back to back. Back to back they faced each other. Drew their swords and shot each other. <laughs> don't ask me where it's from, I don't know. It's just something I remember. <laughs> One of those silly things you remember, silly rhymes. Okay, I don't know if I... I probably didn't re-ink that other one after I'd cut it. I bet I didn't. Never mind. Like I say, I will be making more of these once I've got everybody else's done. 
I will remake, you know, my favourites to remind me and then um, take more care, a bit more time, maybe decorate them as I go along. quite a high pitched squeal can you hear it you might not be able to it's the mechanics of the dust cart dustbin lorry whatever you call it trash i suppose most of you not in the uk they call it a trash i don't know what trash fun yeah they're going to be nice to decorate on the outside aren't they yeah i like that so we've got those back there we've got those there so I've done two of those, two of the other ones and a bit, <laughs> um, which has left me with four pages. And put the ones in there that I've already done as well. Right, so a nice simple one, yes, a nice simple one page one shall we have. So fold it in half. Yeah, I'm going to have, yeah, I don't think it matters too much, but I'm going to have the um, the words facing up initially and then we'll see and I'm just going to fold it that way to find the middle and crease it down about an inch and cut it down on that crease about an inch and I'm going to fold that bottom one and fold this over like a like a tuxedo jacket like that Oops, preferably the same, Denise, would be good. What's going on? There. Yeah. Don't know if I can ink that. Yes, I can. I probably want it on this side, actually. That's it. Hmm. And both sides of that and then I'm, <laughs> I'm very black sooty look at my hands so what I thought was um, a pocket behind again here so I'm going to put a divot in it just to remind myself just a really small one like that um, of course if you just want the book page or you want it slimmer you can cut the edges off and then the last time I did it I just did the edges here so that I could tuck something in um, but I did the um, the collar a little bit bigger you could you just took the collar you know glue the whole thing down I don't think that's going to be big enough to uh, you know, took something in there. I think I'll just glue this one down. I think if you cut deeper and fold back, I'll do the next one deeper, I think, just to show you. And it's just a matter of up here. Oops. And again, it's just a stitch all the way around in black will make that really effective. Okay, so in half, find the middle, crease it down. I'm going to go maybe two inches this time, maybe an inch and a half, I don't know, to that. Oops, Denise. Such a messy inker. It's wrong side anyway, look again. That's it, that's a bigger one. Oops. Come on, my flat. Yeah, that's a bigger, a bigger place to tuck now, isn't it? Oops. It's 
still only be little things but you, you could tuck tickets or you know really small tags or things like that in it labels up there and do it in here that's it and glue it down that's two more pages i think that's just leaving me with two because the first two had three each didn't they three six nine twelve yeah two of those that's 14 so just two um, cheers so for this one I'm going to make like um what do you call these a bag or a sack something like that so I'll go with this edge at the bottom the, the wider margin at the bottom and fold it up so this is how you make a you know a bag like a sweetie bag cut those two and then cut the outer ones off because you don't need them that glue stick doesn't matter where I put it it doesn't want to stand up okay <laughs> things are sticking to me you know what that means I just put glue on the inside of that means I've got sticky fingers. The nozzle is sticky that is for sure. That's better. Okay. And this up here. I could have trimmed that a bit closer but it's only thin book page so it will just, it'll just fold over. So that's just like your sack. Um, you know you could leave it like that as a pocket put a divot in it and um, what I want to do is just fold two tiny corners over I suppose I could have done it like that to make them the same couldn't I I think they weren't far off and then cut them off and then fold the front one over like that and I'm going to fold it down you don't have to you can leave it as a flap I didn't do any inking did I <laughs> don't know why I didn't but getting to the end that's why yeah well I would put it down like that now you can cut a divot in there if you want to you can put it down as a side or a back you can cut a divot in the back so many things you can do so let's just go over that one once more because it was fairly straightforward but I did it quickly. So any size you want, just fold it over so that your two back flaps overlap you know, enough to, to give you a fairly good join or the size you want it to, whichever one counts most. Yeah, if you haven't got it quite straight, which I haven't, you can uh, trim it off with a um, trimmer. But I'm going to fold this over so it won't make any difference here. So fold the big margin up is what I've done. Trim the bottoms. Oh, I glued it first, didn't I? It doesn't matter. All right. <laughs> this is an alternate way to do it. And then just cut that off in one in one go I cut it off first last time didn't I yeah it really is irrelevant look it still worked fine there's a little bit of a lip but it will like I say catch in no problem because it's just book page nice thin book page that's it that's sweetie bag and then I just folded the oh, do it together do it together to get them the same <laughs> I mean, you could use your corner uh, rounder or anything on this. That's it. And then you can fold front and back inside. You don't have to fold one in front and leave one. There's so many things you can do with this. You can make them thinner. You could use paper the other way up and make two really thin ones. Again, I didn't. I don't think I could have, could I? I folded it over 
Okay, that's it. I'll put them all in there and I shouldn't have, should I? So I'll put photos up at the end. So that's 16, 16 of these turned into two, four, six, eight pockets I think I got. You'll see at the end because I'll put a photograph on. Okay, thanks for watching. It's been a lot longer than I thought. So I'll see you later with another video. Bye for now.